Welcome to Zenfi Basics. My name is Ethan. In this video I will demonstrate how to copy specific data between two Google Sheets. So things don't get confusing. I will refer to the sheet containing the master data as master. And refer to the sheet we are copying the data to as project. The master sheet contains data we need to copy to the project sheet. Additionally the data needs to correlate with the correct record. Let's put Zenfi to work and see what it can do. All flows start with a trigger. For this flow we will be using the trigger called on demand flow. This trigger requires human intervention to run. Now it is time to add the actions to the flow. The first action we will add is called current date and time. To configure this action, select the time zone and copy your preferred format, followed by set run name. The set run name action is an action which allows you to give each flow run a unique name. In this example I will use the date from the previous action along with the name of the flow. This makes it easy to find a specific run in the recent runs collection. Next we will add a read rows action. This action will read the data from the rows of the project sheet. To set up this action, add your connection, then navigate to the project sheet in Google Drive and select the sheet name. Then select the option to return all rows and click on has headers. This will read all the data from each row in the project sheet. Next we need a for each item or also called for each loop. This is configured using the rows from the previous read rows action. This will loop through each row on the project sheet. Let's keep going to see how the next actions will use this information. The next action is lookup row. This action is contained inside the for each loop and will look up the serial number data on the master sheet. It will use the store number as the key to correlate the serial number information on the master to the appropriate row on the project sheet. To configure this action, we need to connect to the data in the master sheet. Next, we will correlate the store number column to the same column on the project sheet. The last action is update row, which is also inside the for each loop. We'll update the project sheet with the serial number information being passed to the loop. We will configure this action to use the data from the previous step. To configure this action we will add our connection. For the file ID we need to locate the project sheet in Google Drive and select the sheet in that workbook. Using the token picker, select the row number from the for each loop action. We need to select as header, then click load columns. Once the columns are loaded, delete any that do not contain the data you are copying. Click on the token picker in the value field. Navigate to the lookup row action. Select the column containing the data we need. That's it. Pretty simple. Make sure to give the flow a name, save and publish it. Now let's test it out and see how we did. And we have success. Let's review the steps again. The trigger is either an on-demand or scheduled trigger. The actions are current date and time, set run name, read rows, then a for each loop. Inside the for each loop we have a lookup row and an update row action. Navigate to the address on your screen for exclusive promotions from Timothy MK. Timothy MK Solutions is proud to partner with Zenfi. What are you waiting for? Let's start your automation journey today.